morning. I'm here because I've been getting a lot of questions from people about how I cut my blooms and so I just thought I'd show you. Um, here I have K.A.'s Mocha Katie here growing and um, I have disbudded so that means that I don't have like uh, big long um, stems growing here on here and so when I cut I cut down if I've disbudded down two then I'll go all the way down to here if you can see see that I, I'll cut way 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 down here like that so this one I actually just budded down too so I have no buds there and no buds there so then I have a really really nice long stem so it's it's about it's about I don't know 18 inches long and that once I cut it I immediately remove the leaves because um, if you leave the leaves on it's just one more thing for the um, stem to keep have to keep hydrated and immediately I put it into water so if I'm um, in the field, pretty much immediately I get it into water. So here's another one. So here's the first set of leaves. It's been disbudded. Here's the second set of leaves. It got disbudded, not really disbudded, but I wouldn't want to have an eight inch stem unless I was doing a, a very short bouquet. And my, my florists and designers like to have at least a 12 inch stem, if not longer. So again, just take this and remove the leaves and put it right here into the water. Um, if you haven't disbudded, so for example here, um, I did disbud on the first set. Um, and so if I just wanted a stem that was about uh, 12 inches long, I could cut there. If I wanted it longer, I would cut to here and I'd get maybe a 14 inch stem. And then I would lose this here and lose this here, just strip those off. So that, you know, you make that decision based on um, whether you want a long long stem for your vase you're making or if you're selling your blooms you want to make sure it's kind of long because the florists like to have longer stems so that they can work with it in lots of different settings so that's pretty much it for today